Hey there everyone, welcome. I'll show you the standings here. In the Southeast Division, we got the Florida Panthers. Undefeated, 9-0-3, first place. Have the in second place, 16 points. The Panthers have a pretty good lead there. In Atlantic Division, we have the Devils in first. Rangers are just a game and a half behind them, so are the Flyers. Northeast Division, Boston, 6-3-3, 15 points. Ottawa is only half a game behind them with 14 points. So those top three teams are pretty close there. Pacific Division, you got the Phoenix Coyotes, 5-2-5. Five, five. You got the Mighty Ducks, 6-5-1, so... Kind of a weird... Division there. The Northeast Division, the Northwest Division, you got Vancouver 6 4 and 2. They're the only team over 500 in their division. Central, you got the Blackhawks and the Red Wings tied 7 4 and 1. And we are actually going to be seeing those two teams play in the next video after this one. And the records won't change because the date of this game is currently on March 6th. This game we're going to be seeing here, the Kings and the Sabres, also scheduled on March 6th along with the Blackhawks and Red Wings. So, pretty cool. Let's go to the conference. Eastern Conference, Florida's first seed team right now. Let's see, Buffalo's in eighth. Washington's just behind. In the West, you get the Blackhawks, first seed. Phoenix, second, Vancouver, third. You have Detroit, the fourth, the third time with the Blackhawks. If Detroit beats the Blackhawks, they jump to first, and the Hawks drop down to fourth, but they haven't seen me lose yet. So let's go ahead and jump into this game here. I got some bad news too. I mentioned in some of my previous videos about the new system I got. Flashback 4 plays had 75 Atari games inside of it. You can play. Welcome to Buffalo, New York, where EA Sports presents the NHL regular season game between the Los Angeles Kings and the Buffalo Sabres. Anyways, I hooked it up and I plugged it in and the red light on the cord lit up, no problem. When I pressed the power button, nothing happened, it didn't light up or anything. So I took it out to the video game store where I bought it. And they tried it, didn't work. So they Opened up a new system, tried it, that one didn't work either. So it must be a design flaw. So we won't be seeing any Atari games. I'm Jim Houston. With me for this game is Daryl Ray. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get to the action. And here's how the goalies match up. Hashik will be up against be safe. Pekka gets a breakaway! To Perot. Perot turns it over. Pekka made the shot. Perot to Johnson. Moves in. To Courtney. Johnson winds up. He could make that save blindfolded. Johnson knocks down Shannon to Gallup. Then he took the shot. Bird winds up. Over to Johnson. Shannon gets the puck to Barnaby. Chatan into the middle. Cardinal moves in. Johnson winds up. Hashik holds on to it. I think Lord Buffalo's best looking uniforms they've ever had. 
Buffalo has fresh legs on the ice. The pass is intercepted by Ferrano. To O'Donnell. He shot it from the slot. It's still tied. 0-0. Zero, zero. 2.46 left in the period. Oh my good great. What a save that was. He's flattened by Rasmussen. The pass was intercepted. Moger to center. Nickel hits it to Burns. Nothing. Penalty no. against the Kings for slashing. Los Angeles penalty to number 42, Dan Bilesma. Two minutes for slashing. Buffalo player was slow to get up. And then he was on. The ref gets ready to drop the puck. Here we go again. He's nailed by Pekka. Moves in. Stumple shot it. Just two minutes remaining in the period. Shipman breaks out. Odette moves in. Pekka made the shot. Shoots! They set up the shot they wanted but couldn't beat him. I'm still planning to get some Wii, po Wii point cards so I can download some Nintendo games and Genesis games. I'll still see some games. He's jolted by Grosik. Nothing wrong with that hit. Nordstrom clears the puck out of his own zone. Restricted area for the Rollers back then. They drop the puck. The Kings win the faceoff. Buffalo will try to work it around for the one timer here on the power play. What a hit! To Shen. To Bosa. Quick shot. To Say gets the puck to Blake. Blake clears the puck down the ice. Only 30 seconds to go. Game on. Nordstrom winds up. Time runs out on the penalty to Bilesma. The goalie leaves the net on the delayed penalty call. Another penalty. Los Angeles gets called for cross-checking. Los Angeles penalty to number 14, Matthias Nordstrom. Two minutes for cross-checking. I want to play in five of the games. The ref gets ready to drop the puck. And they drop the puck. Pekka passes across to Chatan. And that's the end of the first period. Ben, as this is a family environment, we ask that you please refrain from using inappropriate language in the stand. Okay, so Buffalo up shooting Los Angeles 4 to 3. One thing that's only really annoying about this game is there's almost no scoring hardly ever. It seems like I'm the only one that scores more than one goal a game. Actually, come to think about it, now that I'm looking at the Statistics, I am the only team that we have seen score more than... Okay, we've seen Boston beat Anna and do nothing, but... Other than that... It's like I'm the only one that ever scores. Welcome back for the second period of today's game. I'm Jim Hughes, and I'm Daryl Ray. Plant gets to the circle. He'll face off against Perot. The puck's knocked loose by Johnson. Both teams are looking for the go-ahead goal. The penalty will be called as soon as the Sabres touch the puck. Johnson winds up. Barnaby gets called for hooking. Buffalo penalty to number 36, Matthew Barnaby. Two minutes for hooking.
Nickel gets to the circle. He'll face off against Ferraro. And they drop the puck. The Sabres win the face off. To seven. Blake winds up to Wilson. Wilson passes it across. Chips it ahead to Burridge. Bisset saw that one coming. Plays the puck to Blake. Ouch. Bilesma starts out. Nickel goes to Burridge. Blake passes across. Great hit. Buffalo will probably look for a shot through traffic. Buffalo intercepts the pass. The puck's knocked loose by Burridge. Nordstrom steps back on the ice and his team will enjoy a shortened power play here. Great boy. Towards the net. Mm -hmm. Wilson gets checked. Interception. The puck's knocked loose by Ferraro. <laughs> Buffalo returns to full strength as the penalty expires. O'Donnell moves it on. To Nordstrom, who took the shot. Pimo quickly passed it to Shipman. a lot of penalties this game. Penalty called for roughing. Los Angeles penalty to number 14, Matias Nordstrom. Two minutes for roughing. to face off against Perot. Plant gets possession off the draw to center. The penalty will be called as soon as the Kings touch the puck. Los Angeles gets called for elbowing. Los Angeles penalty to number 23, Craig Johnson. Two minutes for elbowing. Buffalo's going to have a two-man advantage here. Pekka gets to the circle. He'll face off against Robitaille. They drop the puck. The Sabres win the faceoff. Robitaille cleared the puck. Who is does it? Hashik covers up the puck for the faceoff. Is he going to a corner or something? Wooly is an impeccable passer. What separates the great playmakers from the good ones is their ability to make passes into areas where there is seemingly no room. Plant gets to the circle. He'll face off against Stumper. Buffalo gets possession off the draw. Schmelik starts up. Schmelik was knocked down. Los Angeles, zero. The Buffalo Sabres, zero. Last minute of play in the second period. Under one minute remaining in the period to Barnaby. Now let's see what he says again. Only 30 seconds remaining in the period. I think we're only going to have time for... Okay, the regular clock looks like it's going a lot faster. Time runs out on the penalty to Nordstrom, and that's the end of the second period. Fans, there are still good seats available for the next game. But don't delay because they won't last long. See, I'm all, I'll have one time for one more game after this, and that'll be it for the night. Because there's a real hockey game on. Chicago Blackhawks, Detroit Red Wings, game five. Or game six. No, it's game five. The playoffs, and Hawks need to win tonight to stay alive. Now, if Detroit ends up on the Hawks out in the first period, then I'll probably go ahead and do a couple more videos tonight. But otherwise, I've got one game after this, and then tomorrow we'll see the... We'll go ahead and do the Tecmo Super Bowl AFC and NFC Championships. Time now for the third period of EA Sports NHL 99. Plant gets to the circle. He'll face off against Perot. Time runs out on the penalty to Johnson. Rosick passes it back.
they move into position for the faceoff. Wilson shoots! The puck's knocked loose by Nickel. A delayed call against Los Angeles. Penalty called for cross-checking. Los Angeles penalty to number 45, Sandy Poker. Two minutes for cross-checking. Gets to the circle. He'll face off against Stumple. The puck's knocked loose by Pekka. Blake clears the puck. Hashik hangs onto the puck. Like usual. Kings win the face-off. Rosek into the slot. To Johnson. Barnaby winds up. Buffalo steals the pass. To Barnaby. Barnaby to plant, plant, then blasted it. Nordstrom to Johnson. Both teams are looking for the go-ahead goal. Hashik passes into the middle. Almost intercepted. To Schmader. To Plant. Quick shot to Johnson. The Kings move the puck out of their own end. Johnson clears the puck. Moger steps back onto the ice as the penalty expires. Hashik holds onto it. The PlayStation had a lot of glitches in it. They dropped the puck. O'Donnell shoots. It looks like that one was in. Just two minutes to go. The Kings are changing on the go. O'Donnell dumps the puck in on the end boards. McKee over to the wing. The Sabres will change on the fly. To Robitaille. and knocked down by Blake. To Murray. Murray into the slot. Last minute of the play in the third period. Robitaille jars the puck loose. To Woolley. To Brown. The Sabres will change on the fly. To Robitaille. Across to Stumper. To Blake. Ten seconds remaining in the period. To Burridge. To Blake. Penalty call. Penalty call for slashing. Buffalo penalty to number 45. Scott Nickel. Two minutes for slashing. Looks like we're running into overtime. So as usual, no one can score. Plant settles in for the face-off. He'll face off against Perot. The third period is over. This game's going to overtime to Perot. So Buffalo us shooting 9 to 8, but nobody's able to score. Time now for the first period of overtime on EA Sports NHL 99. They move into position for the faceoff. Plant jars the puck loose. Galley into the middle. Galley was knocked down by Schmanek. Rosek clears the puck. To Johnson. Quick shot from the neutral zone. The save was then made by Hashik. Hashik slows things down by covering up. Pekka wins the draw 
cleanly. Pekka to Shatan. The teams are deadlocked. Blake shoots. Hasha gets the puck to Woolley. The puck's knocked loose by Stumpel. To Murray. Murray into the corner. Hasha moves it to Woolley. Oh, a truck hit him. Time runs out on the penalty to Nicholas. He's nailed by Stumpel. To Blake. Duchesne winds up. To Woolley. Interception. Los Angeles will try to work the puck into the slot here. To Chatan. The Sabres are changing on the go. Blake moves it on. Pass intercepted. Los Angeles was offside. Odette steals the pass. An air right open skating. Bisset gives it to Deshane. Both well teams are passing well in this game. To Deshane, Perot steals the pass. Perot run over by Schmelik. The teams are deadlocked. Shannon gets the puck to Schmelik. Chips it ahead to Perot. Deshane then shot it. The puck's knocked loose by Cortnall. That's a good play. Cortnall gets Damn. a goal in overtime. Here's how that one unfolded. It starts the pass into the offensive zone. He takes the shot and beats the goalie. Backhanded that one. I like he kind of got lucky in it. Like Patrick Kane stealing the cup winning goal when he just backhanded it and happened to go in. So there we go, the Kings. I shoot Buffalo 12 to 11 and that one extra shot they got. To the goal. Got Russ Cortnall, Stephane, Seth, Say, and Yannick Pearl. Guess Cortnall and Say either don't have a picture or they're too ugly to put on the screen. Hope you enjoyed the game and I'll see you in the next video.